of uh, 2011, and which says that a, a Ghana Heritage Fund is hereby established. That uh, sets the conditions for establishing the fund. And then it goes further to say that it provides an endowment to support development for future generations. And uh, this is supposed to receive excess petroleum revenue. So a certain percentage of the revenue is supposed to go into that. And the law further says that the fund shall receive uh, from the Petroleum Holding Fund a percentage of uh, petroleum revenue which shall be determined by parliament as savings for the purpose of this act i'm sure you're taking note of uh, this and then it says that despite section 20 parliament may by a resolution supported by the votes of majority of members of parliament at intervals of 15 years from the days of commencement of this act review the restriction on transfers from the ghana heritage fund and authorize a transfer of a portion of their accrued interests. Uh, these, these are very particular. Let's take note of this uh, portion of their accrued interests on the Ghana Heritage Fund. So uh, let's quickly now uh, go onto the telephone lines and speak with uh, Fifi Kwete, who is on the line now. Good evening, sir. We're grateful you could join us. Now, I recall that uh, some NDC members in the last regime had asked for a relook at the law to ensure the money is invested in infrastructure. Now, the MPP is also seeking to use that money to invest in its uh, policy. What do you make of the call from a senior, the senior minister to use the Heritage Fund for the government's free SHS? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Stephen, and uh, good evening to uh, all your many, many viewers. Mm. Uh, um, to be honest, we are completely uh, shocked uh, by this uh, suggestion. Um, I still believe that it's, it, I, I still kind of feel that it's, it's not for real, that it's maybe just a joke. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it's actually proved to be real, then this can only, uh, I think I can only, I can only recall the words of Kwekubaku when uh, some of us at the time were proposing actually a better idea in terms of how to invest the heritage fund. And Kwekubaku at the time called it, uh, what did he say? He said it was a bankrupt suggestion and an admission of failure. That's how Kwekubaku described it at the time. Now, if at the time, that superior suggestion some of us were bringing, Kwekubaku called it a bankrupt idea and admission of failure, then you can only call this current one a super bankrupt idea and an extra admission of the complete failure and the lack of creativity of the NDP. So you, you describe this as lack of creativity. So what will be the creative idea of uh, funding the free senior high school? I'm focusing on that policy because then government is looking at uh, uh, going into this uh, fund, which has generated, has actually accrued uh, some $300 million or so. In the first place, you, we should understand that uh, even for the main uh, oil revenue that is available to the budget, okay, which portion of the budget is available to as part of, as part of the Petroleum Revenue Management Act is called uh, uh, the annual budget funding amount, mm. which amounts to about 70%. So meaning for every 100 cities that we get from the petroleum revenue, 70% of it is allowed to go into funding the budget. Even the part that goes into funding the budget, which is 70%, which is actually the bulk of that money, at the time we were doing I mean, the, the law, across the two sides of parliament, we were agreed that for the sake of the country, for the sake of the future of Ghana, we should make sure that money strictly goes into what we call long-term economic investment. investment. Mm. Economic investment. So that's why you will see that the four portions that were dedicated to that money, even that one that goes into the budget, you will see investment in agriculture, investment in infrastructure. Then there was one that was meant to amortize I mean, all the investment that we've done in oil and gas and so on. And then the fourth person, the fourth part was given for capacity building. Now, capacity building, you can decide to extend that into formal education if you choose. That's if you want to really stretch it. Now, so if that is MPP's priority, they could decide that, listen, instead of keeping those four priorities, which the 70% are supposed to be used for, they, as their priority, want to ensure that they dedicate 
the huge portion of that to funding the free SHS. And nobody will have a problem with that. Of course, some people may, because some people will tell you, if that truly really is your priority, maybe there's a better use of the educational priority rather than paying school fees. You could decide that you want to invest more into increasing the quality of education. So, Mr. Kote, uh, we don't have a lot of time, but let's put on record. So, you're describing this as uh, a lack of ideas on the part of government, a bankrupt yeah. of ideas. If it is only seeking to use the Heritage Fund to fund its uh, free senior high school, then it's cause for worry? Yeah, because you see what? Well, when, for example, the NDC government uh, decided under President Mahama that we wanted to build 200 schools, that obviously was a huge undertaking. Did you at any point hear us saying that we wanted to use the Heritage Fund in order to build the 200 secondary schools? No. No. What did we do? We resorted to the fund that is already available, which is called the Get Fund, which the country had decided upon long ago to use for education and decided that we will use that get fund to build some of it other portions of it we went for what you call long-term soft financing because educational investment it, it tends to be one that you can secure what you call long-term concessionary funding for which is not very expensive for the country now if that is what you want then go through that route apart from the normal tax tax of the country i mean you and i are contributing tax every day if you like, decide that you want to use a lot more of that taxation in order to take care of this important priority, if that is your priority. Now, if you have taxes and you don't want to use more of that tax for your free, free, free SHS, you have get fund. You don't want to use more of that get fund for your free SHS. You have even petroleum revenue, which is available to the budget, which mm -hmm. is 70% of the petrol. You still don't want to use more of that. The only thing you can think of using is the 9% allocated, which if you read the Petroleum Management Act properly says, that we are not even allowed to touch it until all the oil has been used up, right. totally depleted before you can even think about using right, you are uh, so Mr. desperate that that's the only thing you can depend upon. It oh, shows Mr. the extreme level of lack of creativity. Right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Fifi Kwete.